Welcome to another Two Minute Tech Day where we teach you how to use technology to enhance your classroom. Our goal is to teach you something that you can use to reach your students in two minutes or less. Hopefully. Today we're going to learn how to record a Zoom, save it, and then find where your Zoom video file is. Let's get started. We'll begin by setting up a Zoom conference. We're going to set it up like normal. Select on for both the host and participant to have a video. I enable waiting room and join before host, but the most important part is to enable the record meeting automatically on the local computer. Now, if you're the host, make sure that this last one is enabled so that you don't have to worry about the recording. But let's say you're not hosting. How do you record then? I'm going to not enable it to show you how to record when you are not the host. Well, let's start a Zoom conference. I'm going to jump to the conference to speed things up. Once the Zoom conference has started, we're going to go to the bottom of the screen and click record. So now we're recording your video. Then when you're done, you can click stop or the meeting will just end. I'm going to click stop recording. Now I'm going to hit end meeting. Say bye. Once the recording is over, it will convert on your screen. When it asks you to save in a location, just click Save. Now it's going to save to your Documents folder. Now go down to your Finder. Click on it. Now click on Documents right here. And then find your Zoom folder. Click on it. Now. Find the date and time of the conference that you had. My last one was this one. Find your video with the file type that says MP4. Now you can view it or share it any way you like. That was less than two minutes, right? I mean, I actually think I got under two minutes this time. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for stopping by. Be sure to check out our other videos where we teach you how to use tech tools to help you reach your students. Leave a comment down below on any other tools that you may want to use in the future, and we can make a tutorial on how to use them. I'll see you in the next Tech Days tutorial.